In this training video, we're going to look at the use of the auto connect feature, which can be used to produce visual diagrams in an automatic way. Now, it's really useful for some diagrams, not all diagrams, but there's a lot of diagrams where this feature can be very, very useful. And one of them is a flow chart. So I want to start off a basic flow chart. I've got basic shapes open here as a stencil, and it's the basic shapes diagram table template that I'm using. So if I wanted to create a flowchart, I could do a, use a rectangle, drag it onto the page. I could then go to arrow shapes and I could draw an arrow, but this is very manual. And then I could extend the arrow and I could then bring another rectangle on or copy it using control D. So I could duplicate, make sure they join together and this kind of idea. So this, this is how flowcharts are often created using a manual process, using basic shapes or other, t other stencils in Visio, and then joining arrows together with the, base, with, with, with the different shapes. So this wouldn't take too long, but there's a, a more effective way than creating a flowchart than this in Visio, and that can be done using the auto connect shape. So feature, so I'm going to delete these shapes and I'm going to make basic shapes the active stencil by clicking on SS bowl. On the view tab, I can turn on a feature called auto connect. So this is how you can auto connect shapes and it'll actually produce its own arrow. So I'm going to auto connect. Now I'm going to pull a rectangle on the page in this example. Now the beauty about having auto connect on when you hover over it, it's got little arrows going around it, one, two, three, four, and these arrows have shapes which can be used. And this example is the first four shapes, the square, the rectangle, the ellipse, and the circle. So there they are. So I'm going to do a rectangle to rectangle. There's the arrow that joins them, and I can quickly now go on and then do another one. So I can quickly produce a flow chart using this kind of method. I can then come down, use the shape again, I'm going to go across a bit, go across a little bit, come down, something like this. So I'm just following a diagram that I've already got on a, just to produce this kind of idea. So you can see how quickly you can get a, some kind of flow chart. I might want a diamond. I can pull that onto the page. Then I can use the arrows to just drag from one arrow to the shape to perform a an arrow between them and the ar other arrow pointer I can drag to the top to connect and then I can have another rectangle coming off it so something like this and we can see how quickly this has been created it's just a map of a couple of clicks if I didn't like the arrows I can then I can then modify them. So when I finish the diagram, I tend to turn off the auto connect when I want to format it. So I'm going to turn off the auto connect here, do a little bit of formatting. So I wanted the lines to be much thicker. I can go to the home tab, line, weight, make it thicker. I might want to change the color. And I can always use format painter to copy this to the rest of the arrows. So format painter, double left click, and I can just click away now between all the different arrows. I can see how quickly a flowchart diagram can be created using Visio. I can change colors quite quickly. So if I wanted the diamond, I can just go to a different color. And there's something like a basic flowchart setup. It hasn't had any text typed in, but that didn't take very long. And um, that was just using the Auto Connect feature. So the Auto Connect, very, very powerful. Uh, it's a great, great feature uh, for creating automatic uh, diagrams and using, select, using shapes from the Auto Connect feature, which gives us four shapes. And uh, it tends to give you the first four shapes. So if I click on one rectangle, turn on the Auto Connect.
as you can see the first four the rectangle square ellipse and the circle and they're coming from the top four here that's where they're coming from but this is how useful this feature can be it's not always used within diagrams but some diagrams like the flow chart this is very very um, powerful and very very quick there are other other diagrams where this is very very useful but what you do you find out the diagrams this is useful for as you start producing the diagrams but for any kind of flow chart diagram this is an extremely effective way of creating the diagram and that's using the auto connect feature and you can turn it on and off i'm going to turn it off uh, to complete the example but this now completes a demonstration on the auto connect feature and the ability to create automatic diagrams like the example i produced which is a flow chart diagram if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to our channel hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching